Welcome to the second part of Orchid Cloud Inter Company. What we will cover in this part two, we will talk about intercompany balancing rules, manage additional intercompany balancing and clearing options, and we will try to create an intercompany batch to check the transaction process flow, outbound, inbound, status, also intercompany accounting which will be generated after you complete or approved the intercompany patch. So let's start by intercompany balancing rules. What we are seeing here are the different level at which you can set those rules and the orders of the presidents. So when you post a journal in GL, it is going to check to see if the debits and the credits balance and let's assume they do. Then it's going to check to see if the journal balances by balancing segment value and we will assume it's primary balancing segment value only here. If it doesn't balance by, by your balancing segment value, then the balancing process first goes to see if you have got a rule here at the primary balancing segment rule. So this is the first level as an order of precedence of the balancing rule. And these numbers of attributes that you fill in when you go and create these rules from which ledger, from which legal entity, and then you put in your primary balancing segment value. We will see it later. So you are specifying a really granular rule here because you are saying if you transaction from company, for example, 101, and they are transacting with company 102, you are creating a specific rule for that combination of primary balancing segment value. So very granular. Now, if it doesn't find one there, it goes to the legal entity rules, second level here. So here we have the specific rules for a legal entity. So let's say US1 legal entity transacting with maybe US2 legal entity or UK legal entity. Now, this is a difference to balancing segments. You might be thinking, well, my legal entity is my balancing segment. But actually, you can have more than one balancing segment value within a legal entity. For example, you may have some balancing segment value that are not assigned to a legal entity. So this is less granular because we are not specifying the balancing segment value. Now, if it doesn't find something there it is goes down to this ledger rules level where you are less granular because you are just seeing from ledger to ledger and then if it is doesn't find anything there it goes down again to the chart of account rules and that's why i was talking about it being catch all because if it doesn't find something there there if it doesn't find something there 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 then it's going to come down and so it will the balancing is going to fail so best practice to have a chart of accounts rule so that there is at least going to be one rule in there that will balance up your journals. So this is the manage intercompany balancing rules and you can see the various tabs, primary, segment rules, legal entity rules, legal rules, and the final one chart of account rules. So let me go into the system and show you where these are. So let's go to Oracle system. As you know, once you log in in Oracle, just go to setup admin. 
Tinas. Select financial track and go to intercompany. Just show all tasks, go down. You will find manage intercompany balancing rules and manage additional intercompany balancing rule clearing option. We will talk about this option later, but let's start by manage intercompany balancing rules. Here you can search for a specific chart of account, ledger, legal entity, primary segment value. As we talk before, primary segment rules, legal entity rules, ledger rules, chart of account rules. If we start by primary balancing or primary segment rules from ledger to ledger, from legal entity, this legal entity related to FD ledger, this two legal entity related to ledger of AM, what is the primary segment value for FD? primary balance segment value for AM and receivable account, payable account, start date, end date. If you try to create a new one, it will give you which source. You have a lot of sources here, sources of all, which category, also all. What is the transaction type? If you define a transaction type in intercompany, it will pop up here from ledger to ledger legal entity to legal entity which is related to these two ledgers primary segment value to primary segment value also related to these two ledger and receivable and payable accounts for making the balancing start date and end date if I cancelled go to write source and category source and category sometimes you select other and other so all sources and all category but here for example i put it cash management and the fund transfer under the source of cash management as a module i selected category from the transfer because once you select the source for example assets the category will be only category which is related to the source assets here also the categories it will give you the categories which is under the source of cash management because as you know, when you make bank transfer between two banks in two different legal entity, so the balancing or intercompany balancing rule must be there, right? So in this case, you have to define also primary segment rules or whatever the rules here. And but in this case, you will put cash management to tell the system this, that these rules will define with this source and this category. For the others, you can define here none and the none, the transaction type or other. What does it mean? That I will use these rules for all others transaction type which I implemented in intercompany. In the first part or the part one of intercompany, I show you how to create a transaction type, intercompany transaction type. So that means that I will use these rules, all others for all the transaction type which I already defined in enter company transaction type form in case of you want to make any other source and either category but without any transaction type in enter company so you came here and select source other category other or all other all other and transaction type none so these rules will using for any other source and with any other category and will not use any transaction type which is defined in enter company transaction type this is the from uh, the primary segment rules if we go to legal entity the same if i need to create a new one it will give you again the source category what is the transaction type here ledger to ledger is not enabled you have to select from legal entity to legal entity the same receivable payables start and the end date let me cancel the others for a ledger rules again if you need to 
to add source category it is for all of the rules source and the categories from ledger to ledger receivable account and payable account if you see here I define from ledger to ledger receivables payables there is none and all transaction type in intercompany again from FD to AM what is the receivable account will be this is the balancing account for payables and receivables and source category also none I will use it only with the transaction type of intercompany and so on the last one is the chart of account rules you have to put the again source and the category here you have to put uh, your chart of accounts which chart of account you are using for these balancing rules and receivable account payable account again start and end date so this is the first part of how to manage intercompany balancing rules this account will be make the balance between the transaction types or between or during enter the transaction and once the transaction approved and completed these accounts will be there to make a balancing between intercompany and we will see it later during creating intercompany batch let's take you back to the slides here also before come here let you the options of additional intercompany balancing and the clearing options this option so this is the manage intercompany balancing rule but here additional intercompany balancing rules and the clearing option let's click it in which you are going to use it if you are using this second or third balancing segment or you want to set up this clearing company balancing this is the one that you are going to use if you have more than one balancing segment value in your chart of accounts so remember I said that if the primary balancing segments are balanced but maybe your second or your third or both balancing segment are not balanced then it is going to come into here to find the rule to use to balance out those transactions as you know now the, there is one option that you the option to have more than one balancing segment value second and the third if this second and the third not balance so the system will come to manage additional intercompany balancing and clearing option to check the rules if any rules is defined to make a balance or not if again there is no any rules defined here so the system will fail to make a balance for the second or the third balancing or both also balancing segment again if you need to create a new one you will find which ledger source category again receivables payable start date and end date here there is some additional like summarization condition and source and value just for the summarizations choose how you want to summarize so do you, do you want to the detail or do you want if it's summarize our entire company and then what is happens if there is many to many journals just journals that have got different balancing segment value in each line so it's very difficult to determine where the debit and the credits should go well you can choose to use clearing companies for all many to many journals or for intercompany journals so if I choose that the new then say whether it is a default clearing balancing segment or where or whether you are manually entering the clearing balancing segment value and then you would put a value in there for the condition either use clearing company only for intercompany journals or use clearing company for all many to many journals 
or error out if many too many journals there. So this is the condition and this is the summarizations and again the source and value as options. But really we didn't implement this because we don't have a second and third balancing segment value implemented. We have only one balancing segment value as a primary. So for this, this is the additional intercompany balancing if you have more than one primary balancing segment. Let me cancel out. Again, cancel. Now let's go to the our slides. The third part is Oracle Intercompany Transaction Overview. We will talk about that we can create our intercompany transaction in a number of ways. So we can do them manually through the user interface. We can enter them through a spreadsheet. We can import them and we can generate them from locations. We can actually get it to create our account information automatically by using something called transaction account builder as a tab within the pledger accounting. So you set up some rules within that, that it can reduce your data entry and also prevent any data entry errors. You can also send transactions for approval to all of your trading partners. So you can set up your transaction types and say that they actually require approval before the actual journals can be generated. Also in part one, I show you that during the find the transaction type, you can say this it will require approval or not. There is one checkbox to enabled or disabled. So first of all, you are entering a transaction and then once it is approved, it becomes a journal. Before the approved, there is no journal that will be created. If it doesn't need approval, then it can just become a journal without having the approval. It might need to generate invoice in receivables and payables as well. Because also during enter or define the transaction type, you put if the invoicing option is there or not to generate receivables and the payables as well. So this ensure online validation of transaction before transferring the, them to GL. So that can help minimize and reconciliation issues that you might have. It also intercompany will also balance transaction within multiple distributions and different primary balancing segment value if required, either during posting or create accounting. As I mentioned, it can also create invoices in payable and receivables if you want to, but again, that is controlled by transaction type. So how many way you can enter intercompany batch or create intercompany transactions? You can create it manually through UI as a user interface. You can enter them on a spreadsheet. You can import them. You can generate them from allocations. So there are four or five ways you can create your intercompany transactions. So again, let's come back to Oracle. Before starting to generate or create intercompany batch, I will show you manage intercompany transaction type here. So as I told you in the part one, during define your intercompany transaction type, you would code name, description, and here. Are you make invoicing or not? Is it need approval or not? What is the conversion rate, description, is it enabled or not? So this is what will manage the journals created or not. For example, of for this transaction type closed tax into a company, it's need approval. So it will not generate any journals before it goes for or the status of these transactions got approved. But for this 
transaction close default there is no approval needs so once you make transactions either inbound and in and outbound and put your distributions values once you submitted or saved it will be approved automatically and again once it's approved so the journals will be generated so let's now go to intercompany for example duplicate intercompany accounting transactions I will create a transaction for this close default insurance company because it's not need any approval again go to tasks here you can manage if you already defined or entered any intercompany transactions here you can create as I told you create a manual import from any other system here transfer to transfer all of the transactions if you enable the invoicing here so you need to transfer one for receivable one for payable type the second you can create transaction in a spreadsheet so this is manual this is a spreadsheet this is to transfer receivables to receivable payable to payable and transfer to general ledger correct import error if you import any transaction from any legacy system or third party system and you face any issues you can come here and correct import errors to check what is the error and try to fix it and manage the approval for intercompany transactions if you enable the approval here so and you want to manage approval you can manage approval here i will make create transaction as a manual once you create click on create transactions this is create intercompany patch here the batch number is 2211 here the system will ask you what is a provider for example fd what is the transaction type name i will select close default intercompany because here this is not need any approval which date i will put in november patch description this description of your intercompany november what is the note here currency is corporate control amount if you enter control amount so all of these either debit and the credit sites must be equal this control amount do you have any attachment or not then go to the transactions and the distributions once you click on the transaction the system will ask you who will be receiver i will say am so provider receiver outbound inbound okay so the fd will perform some activities like consultancy to am so FD here AM AM will be debited by 2000 for example you can assign distributions or you can just go to transaction distribution to make provider and receiver just click on create here this is came by default or you can also change it to any other account depends on your situations that this for example consultancy so i will select the account of consultancy this is for maintenance i will put it for maintenance project project etc and for the receiver also but here for the provider you have to enter the credit right because here the debit so the provider will credit and for the receivers again create it will also give you a default account you can define any other accounts depends on your situation so again 
Und dann bin ich eben just you entered who will be the receiver, what is the distribution for the provider and receiver. Try to save. The batch has been saved. Okay. Submit. Batch 2211 has been submitted. Okay. Now you have the option to either go to enter company outbound or inbound to check this batch. If I go to outbound to check is it there or not. There. Here the status is submitted. Again, click done, go to inbound because there is some process after submitting is run, take some seconds to check it and if it needs approve, it will waiting the approval. If it's not need any approval, like here, manual approval is not checked, so the status is approved. Why it's approved? Because as I told you, depends on the transaction type, need approval or not. This is not need, so once you submit it, it will go for approved. Here, transaction number is one, just click on it, in inbound, it will give you a summarize, what is a provider, which date, what is the transaction type selected, what is the receiver, what is the legal entity, what is the transaction status, is it approved or not, what is the amount, is it credit or debit. Just here, our intercompany balancing line is generated. This is for the receiver. And for the provider, also it will be generated. So this is the journal entries of the intercompany. The lines, whatever you defined for this transaction type, it will be generated here. Because in the balancing rules, I defined by FD and DM that this account will be the payable and here also as a receivables, so it is generated. For the provider, as a credit, it is generate the receivables into a company here. For the receivers, which is debited, it is generated the payables intercompany account. So again, if I come back to, I will cancel to show you the balancing, whatever I defined. Here. I put for primary balancing rules between FD and DM. I put these accounts, if you remember, 3.0 and 3.0.99, and also I put this. Depend on the transaction type here. I put this account for all other and other here, for all other transactions in cash management. So this account will be generated for receivable, and this is will be generated for payable. Here, the same account is generated and debuted the intercompany segment value the other company as FD and for provider, this is FD and debuted AM as a receiver. Once you finish your inbound and outbound, just click on done here you cannot reject you cannot approve or you can reject and approve is is in process or sent or waiting approved but because no approved is required so you cannot either approve or reject click on done if you come back to intercompany outbound to put it here the same patch here also you cannot reverse or with the rule because it's already approved and submitted click on done if you want to create account transfer to general ledger you just click transfer it will ask you from two 
from two all is optional but you can specific or not here create summary journals or not if you have many to many journals I can click submit there is one process submitted okay let me duplicate and go to tools schedule processes to change the status If I search my process ID, enter here succeeded. Check any look file. The good down. This is the status, the batch number. What is the transaction number under this batch number from to or the ledger of the transaction so ledger means what as you know for each batch number there are two ledger as receiver and the provider right so for each ledger you can find one or two or three or five until how many ledgers in the transactions if I go down and here the status is it transferred or not transferred or need proof like this but here show whatever is transferred go down go down if you remember our batch number is 2211 right between FD and AM so the status is this batch has been transferred to GL and here is two because one is provider one is receiver but if you add more than two ledgers in the transaction it will also showing here for the others ledger who is, is mentioned in intercompany transaction patch it's so what we covered now we covered intercompany balancing rule manage additional intercompany if you have second and third balancing segment value and how to creating intercompany batch. Thanks for watching.